Hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today we're going to do an acoustic version of the Green Day song, She, and this is from their 1994 release, Dookie. It's their third record, and it was a really important record because it, it really helped to bring punk into the mainstream popularity. And it's only three chords is going to get you the whole song. One thing to keep in mind, if you want to play along with the original recording, the original recording, like most of the songs on Dookie, was recorded a half step lower. So originally the song was recorded in E flat tuning. But because we're doing the non, you know, electric version, and you probably don't want to tune down just for this one song, I'm going to show it to you in standard tuning. But if, but do the same thing, just tune down the E flat, and then you could play along with the record. You're only going to need three chords to play this song. The different parts are just different, they're in different orders. Uh, you're going to need G major, D major, C major. And for the one part where there's a fast change, you could substitute this for the C major. You could play the C add nine chord. And hey, before we get rocking, do me a huge favor. Please subscribe to the channel. You know, this way, if you subscribe to the channel, we'll uh, notify you when we have new lessons up. And I got a lot of really fun songs coming up. I don't want you to miss them. As well as that, uh, subscribing to the channel really helps us to keep the content coming, right? Leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson, what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Song structure-wise, there's just two verses. They're both the same. Three choruses, they're the same. There's a little instrumental break. So basically, two progressions, you have the whole song down. So the original recording starts off with just the bass guitar playing, right? And then the vocals come in with verse one and the song builds from there. So uh, that bass is doing that doo 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 doo. So we're gonna recreate that with just a little strumming pattern. And we're just gonna play for the intro a G major chord. And I would play an intro just like this. Into verse one. All right, so the intro goes right into verse one. And all I was doing, I was playing in the str a strum pattern four times for the intro. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. And to create a little bit of interest, I'm doing what I call bouncing off the low root note. So my first down, I just hit part of the chord. So basically I'm just hitting like the low E and the A string, you know, the low couple of strings, or just hit the low E string, down, and then the whole chord. Part chord, whole chord. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down. And it doesn't even have to be exact. If you hit the low one string, low two strings, hit the E and the A and the D, you know, as long as you're just getting that separation, just to give it a little variation. Down, down, up, down, up, part chord, whole chord, up, down, up, part chord, whole chord, down, up. And, that, and that's right into verse one. Verse one, she, she screams in silence, a sullen riot, right? Now, um, the two verses in the song, they're both the same. The progression goes G, D, C, G. And then you just repeat that. So he plays that progression two times for the verses. Let me play the verse chords for you, and then I'll go back and explain the strum and the rhythm. The strum pattern that I'm doing in the verse is just a little bit different than what I did in the intro. I'm adding a downstroke. So I'm going uh, this pattern, down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, right? And we're doing that, that low strings first, too, again. Whole, we're doing that part chord, whole chord on those first two downstrokes. is on sh uh, she screams in silence you go to the d a sullen riot change to the c uh through her mind mind is g and then you go g again waiting for a sign sign is d uh, to smash the silence c with a brick of self-control g so basically you're playing each chord two times through the strum pattern 
And if you're having challenges changing from chord to chord, especially early on in your journey, that G to C can be very challenging. You know, so much about good chord changing is about this fret hand technique and how you're getting from chord to chord. I could really help you with that. Tell you what, click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a free video lesson on my essential chord playing technique tips, chord changing tips. It's packed with exercises and tips that'll really get your chord changing and playing blasted to the next level. It's not, the video's not on YouTube, it's extended play. And I'll pair it with an ebook. And in that ebook, I have more chord charts, more exercises, more lessons. It's a killer one two combination. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. And verse one goes right into the chorus Are you locked up in a world that's been uh, planned out for you? And the chorus is you're going to play D to C to G. And then you repeat that again D, C, G. So you play that twice. And then you play C, G. And you play C again, G again, C again, G again. C to G three times, and then D. All right? Um, now, let me play it for you, and then I'll go back and explain it. right into verse two, right? Okay, so what you're doing there is you're playing the D chord and we're using that same strum pattern in the chorus. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So it starts off with that D. Are you locked up? And you play that D chord for two times through the pattern. Are you locked up in a world that's been planned out for you? Been in, just one time on the C, planned out for you, G. And back to the D because you repeat it. Are you feeling two times on the D like a social? C, tool without a use, G. And then you go C, G, C, G, C, G. Scream at me, right, until my ears bleed, G. C, I'm taking G, E for you. And that U, two times. G into verse two. Now, verse two, where, she, where the lyric is she, she's figured out all her doubts were someone else's point of view. Exact same changes as verse one, except he does one thing a little different, and he throws this in a couple of times. Now, it's fast. Uh, he goes from the G to the C and back to the G very quickly, and you'll hear it on the record. Now, if it's a little too fast for you, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to show it to you because it's there. Um, I'll show you an easy way. We'll use G to C add nine to G. Um, so I'll tell you what. Let me play verse two with that change in it, and then I'll go back and explain it. Right from the she, she's figured out. locked up into another chorus. Okay, so basically verse two, you could play the exact same thing as verse one, or you could throw in that little, someone else's point of view, you do that quick G to C, at, you go C add nine to G. Um, so that sounds like this. Okay, so what I did there was on the G chord, I'm going down, 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 and then up on the C add nine. And then back to the G with another up, 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 down, up, down. But try to do it slow. Okay, and he throws that in there at various points in the song on those verses. And, you know, we're doing it a little differently acoustically because, you know, he's playing it real punk style on the record. You know, playing distorted guitar, electric guitar with power chords, a lot of downstrokes, right, in that real punk style. Right? Right? Um, but the power chords ringing just a few notes on acoustic don't sound as good, you know? So we want the chords to be full and lush, and that's why we're using open chords to play this kind of campfire version of the song. If I do that really slow, that first line of the verse, you could hear the change. Uh, she, same strum pattern, just go slow, figured out. All her doubts for someone else's point of view. Wait, in for 
this time Smash the silence With a brick of self-control So basically that's all the progressions in the song um, Because you just learn the verse that goes verse 1 into chorus 1 uh, Into verse 2 which is the same as verse 1 into chorus 2 Then he plays a little instrumental part But the chords he's playing is just the verse changes And he plays the verse changes two times just like a verse um, with that G to quick C add 9 back to G uh, and that goes into the final chorus of the song which is the same as the other choruses and basically you just play a chorus and then just end on the G and let it ring and that's a good way to end the song. Okay, so I'll tell you what, let's do a little play along so you can see all the parts connected. I'll do that little intro into verse 1 and then I'll go into the chorus and into verse 2 and you could play along and uh, it'll sound like this. We take it right from that G. Another chorus. Thanks for checking out this lesson. Have fun with the song. Put your own spin on it. Make it your own. It's a fun one to play. Enjoy. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. This way you'll be notified when we have new lessons coming out. And I have a lot of cool ones coming up as well as it helps us to keep the content coming. And don't forget too to click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my extended play free video lesson on essential chord changing tips. Uh, it's packed with uh, exercises. I'll pair it with an ebook, send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. And if you have a second, check out my new record. I just dropped a new record with my original band, Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. I'm really excited about it. It's a slamming record. Would love for you to hear it. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to all of that below. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions on the gear I used or the studio recording process, let me know. Would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your support over the years and years. Keep having fun with those guitars. Swing for the fences. Enjoy it. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey and rock on. I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care. Yeah.